hi to Chaco. Ready to work. Winners final. So the winner will go back. We'll go uh, not back. We'll go to the round of eight, of course. The loser will have to play against a winner of Chimiko first enchant to have a second chance. What do we see here for Fast Blade Master? What, do, what else? A barracks. What do we see here for Moon? A Beast Master. Do we see Moon Meadows? Do we see Beast Master? Mass Hunters. There's expansions everywhere and uh, and ancients everywhere. And wisps everywhere. And piggies everywhere. The last time I saw Moon do this was against Grubby in the show match. That Grubby uh, won, of course. We do see the Hunter's Hall over here, the Ace of War over here. The Peon Scouts to the bottom. Does not find Mr. Night Elf. Does not find Mr. Moon. Moon is uh, in the center with a wisp. Oh, by the way, I can do, of course, do this. I forgot about it, but there is Mr. Beastmaster. Some is a piggy, piggy and uh, piggy master, of course. Go for this grunt, or are they going straight for the burrows? The grunt is blocking the beastmaster. Does walk around it eventually. And what can he go for? There's only one burrow. There's a second burrow being built, but the second piggy here is pretty soon. Look at this piggy. He's gonna walk through this area. That's uh, there. Piggy starts to take the burrow. Beast man, piggy master helps. Second piggy, this burrow will go down so fast. Piggy's moving in between these buildings, so they, uh, the blade master doesn't cut them up to pieces. Uh, Beast master does take a bit of damage. There goes that burrow. Oh, and there's another burrow. Piggies uh, immediately go in for it. I can probably cancel it. Easy peasy. The third one maybe as well. He's just moving his piggies because the orc didn't uh, didn't expect his piggy master. They don't build their bills base anti piggy master. They build their base anti uh, demon hunter, which is uh, slightly different. But against piggies, we want an open base. Where uh, your your heroes, your guns can walk through of them, kill the piggies. But against a uh, demon, of course, you want to kind of close base with only one opening. Cancel the shop at the same time as he's canceling this burrow. But this burrow is probably going up. This last one, and the shop now might go up as well. One piggy survives here with like uh, six hit points. This piggy is still being annoying. What do we have here? Ancient of War. What do we have here? Ancient of War. Double Ancient of War. Double Huntresses, a lot of Huntresses. The piggy's being annoying. This piggy has to be careful. Has to be careful. Don't give XP to Mr. Blade Master. 35 hit points. He's trying to attack this shop. He's he's microing. But is that micro good enough? Two hit points. Even a peon could kill him now. Even a peon could kill Mr. Piggy and uh, make pork soup out of him. But Piggy hides here in the back. He's regenerating. Doesn't want to become pork soup. Uh, we have a Huntress. One Huntress, not enough. Hey, that's a, that's a name for a movie. If I was gonna make a Warcraft movie, I would call it 100's Not Enough. Would be so epic. Okay, the Piggy Master and the two of the other Huntresses are going to keep over here while this one Huntress keeping tabs on the Blade Master. We have a Tree of Life of Moon over there at the north uh, side of the map. And the Blade Master creeping over here. The Huntress, is she gonna help creeping? Is she gonna help creeping? Doesn't look like it. She's just, uh, she finds these grunts. She will throw a few of these glaive uh, things at them. And now she's gonna run, maybe, or take some damage. Took a lot of damage. Not just some, a lot. That's maybe a bit more damage than she would, than wanted to take. The Beastmaster, is he going for the, the gnolls over here? Does look like it, and Blade Master is coming over here. The Hunters again, throwing her little uh, blades things. The glaives, I guess. The Mikasa, by the way, is what we have for uh, fast. Mikasa killed two null wardens already, and now it's going for the null overseer. The moon trust does uh, retreat. Does she go back? Uh, okay, she goes and help uh, helps creep the beast master up a little bit. Skull of the beast is uh, not useless. It's actually pretty good in this uh, mass hunter style play. Close of attack, so so. 
Intelligence is nice. Are the Blade Master class of attack is nice, of course. Let's see. Is he he's screaming this? Is he? Oh, the um, oh, this almost went down. Uh, Beastmaster is level three. I assume it's gonna be level two piggies. And um, what do we have over here? An AP. He's doing everything at the same time. Same bestiary here, by the way, for uh, fast. No spirit dodge. So we see um, Moon is. AP, AP rushing. He's building the expo. He has an Ace of War over here. He has a Hunter's Hole over here. That's getting uh, attack upgrades. I assume he already has the uh, Night Vision, yeah. And uh, at the same time, he's kicking up his Beastmaster. I wonder if he's gonna build expansion here later. But not yet, because if he builds right now, a uh, fast might at some point just be like, okay, I'm gonna create that. And then uh, he finds the expansion there, cancels it. Level 1 Shadow Hunter, by the way, he did pick a healing wave. To find a birdie. Hello, birdie. Why are you in the net here? I got trapped on my way here. Please let me go. Oh, he lets him go. Let's a birdie go. Bye bye, birdie. You're free to go. That's what he's saying. Of course, he finds uh, the knight up here with a grunt. He finds Moon creeping this. And maybe he saw the tree of life as well. The Berserker Moon got bought the Berserker. Where's the Beastmaster? Beastmaster was drinking some Moon Juice. Picks up a uh, Tome of Strength, so he has almost 1k hit points. And a Pendant of uh, Energy, so he has a lot of mana and hit points now. Meaning for a lot of piggies. As soon as he will have Birdie, he will have level 2 Birdie. The the, hunt, the Moon Dress went down. And uh, he's going for the shop now. The shop is going down very fast. Uh, that's why his name is fast because it takes down shops very fast. Blade Master now going for a Mutus. And there's a Invis. Like, a, how do you call it? Windwalk. So Blade this Tree of Life is sitting down now. I think he just scouted with the peon on this, uh, this base over here. APAP, by the way, is uh, fighting against three raiders. Did Ip uproot. Because raiders don't really do uh, siege damage, so. And your uh, tree does normal damage while uprooted. And it attacks a bit faster as well, so even though you do more damage when rooted, because it's piercing and because of the lower attack rate, I think uh, uprooted does more damage against the raiders. Piercing does reduce damage against medium armor, and uh, normal damage does extra damage. We have a peon here. He's raider and maybe in a bit of trouble. Yeah, he's dead. This is dead raider. This uh, berserker as well in trouble. Mikasa is uh, cutting him apart. Why is the beastmaster attacking hunters? Good question. Uh, there's a birdie now. The birdie with the attack. They master does kill uh, the berserker and he's level three now. Yes, level two windwalk. Makes a lot of sense on this map. On this um, map, a big map with map where map control is very important. There's a uh, nice and stare on the hunters. Oh, he's gonna cancel this uh, shop again. Mass Raiders against Mass Hunters. This is... Uh, I, I think this kind of an equal fight. They both do extra damage against each other. The Hunters do splash damage. But the Raiders have a snare. Oh, there goes another Hunters. There's another APAP for Moon. Defend his base. Moon does have his expansion up though, so Moon has a lot more in income. We do have uh, pillage. We do have pillage. So a lot of income here for fast as well. This piggy is being a little bit annoying. Stupid little piggy. Maybe you should press this button. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, well, and Moon giving some more. He's almost level five. And what did we learn yesterday? Level 3 piggies do splash damage. That's right. I didn't know about that. Piercing splash damage. I think it's the only unit that does piercing splash damage. Usually it's only magic damage. Uh, the magic damage guys that do splash damage. Wrong flag. Moon is Bulgarian. Oh. I'm sorry, I got the wrong flag. Piggy is doing some damage over there. We have uh, this fight here. Huntresses against Raiders. 
The Beast Hatcher will definitely get level 5 from this if uh, some raiders die. There is one. One raider dead, two raiders dead. The Blade Master, meanwhile, killing a wisp. He was doing more important stuff. And he helping his raiders to. There it is. Level 3 piggy. No, is it level 3? No, he got level 3 birdie. He got level 2 piggy still. Level 3 birdie. Both these piggies are ensnared, by the way. They're trapped in a net. They get out, they fight themselves out. Where is the next birdie? They're still on cooldown, but the next one, we're gonna see an uh, invisible chimera. It's like a chimera and a blade master in one. You get this birdie. Meanwhile, we have uh, more raiders going for this tree, but I don't think this is a smart idea. The tree can uproot, there's a lot of huntresses. All your raiders are going to die. He used the heal scroll, but that's not gonna be enough. Uh, of course, he's gonna get some gold. He should have uprooted his. Uh, what should he have? I'm not sure, but he does get it, but he's lost so many raiders. Definitely not worth it. Uh, four raiders, I believe. And a TP. For the Tree of Life is not worth it. One, two, three, four. Beastmaster now uh, level five and a half. Where's that birdie? There he is. Look at him. Amazing, right? Amazing, he just kills a burrow by himself. You guys ever seen this before? I have. And oh, just got the armor, fortified armor on these burrows. Suddenly they're no longer uh, vulnerable to these birdies. See a tree of life here, by the way, for Moon. Birdie went down. Here come the hunters. Says. The raiders going for a hunter's hall. That's not that important. He already got all the upgrades that he needed uh, at tier one at least. He's still at tier 1. He's also, by the way, rebuilding this tree of life. There's another birdie. Do we have a TP for Moon? We do. We also have a Skull of the Beast, by the way. And the TP's out. We have uh, 6 Raiders again. 46 supply against 39. It seems like uh, Paz didn't, didn't watch those replays of, uh, or even the streams. Of, of Krabi versus uh, Moon on this map. Do we see a fight in the middle? There's no way the Orc can win this. Against these summons, look at this, so big birdie. And that biggie. Against these summons, against the Hunters. Remember, he still has that Skull of the Beast, never used it. Still has it. If he needs to win a game, uh, a fight, he can always just click this item. And it's like an instant win. Town is under siege. The hunter's hole, by the way, didn't go down even. The birdie now going for peons. With the help of the piggy. But the birdie goes... Uh, the piggy and the birdie go poof. There's a new birdie though. Blade Master. Oh, he's at tier 3. That's, uh, of course, something. Yeah, we already saw the burrows. But also the orb now on the Blade Master. Means he can uh, get rid of those piggies and birdies very efficiently by himself. This expansion is up. He's building whips. Is under siege. He's building wisps here as well. What is this Huntress doing? Maybe she's AFK. AFK Huntress. This bird will take a lot of damage. It's going down. Meanwhile, we have the Raiders here at the other side. Killing an Ancient of War. Does not have Nature's Blessings because he's still a tier 1. Uh, six raiders, they do get, kill these buildings very fast. And remember, he also has pillage. Meaning that he gets a lot of money. Not to go for the tree of life. Loses his burrows for it though. And his peons. And yeah, that's a trade that Boom could probably take. Yes, uh, still an expo up. They are TP out. All the we have still two peons left. Is he trying to kill those two peons? I think so. Did he get them? Not one of them. Not the second one either. Both the peons survive. They can build more burrows. What is this? Oh, never mind. Peon bring back the gold. Building another burrow. This expansion is up and running. And Fast doesn't know about it, but maybe he just got the inkling. Hey. What if Moon built an expansion over here? Maybe I should go and kill it. If he goes for that expansion right now, sure he has no idea that it's there. If he goes for it right now, he has this slight 
chance, right? Medium, very small, like almost zero. But if he doesn't go for it, it's over. There's a tree of life coming up over here. One for he over here. And uh, here comes the Beastmaster. So if he goes for it now, it's, it might be too late already. He actually wanted to creep this. There's Mr. Piggy. Hi, Mr. Piggy. Okay, Mr. Piggy uh, is over there. The hog, go for the burrow. Did he kill one of the peons? Uh, oh, there was a peon over here. I think he killed one of the peons. So there's only one peon left now. The Blade Master kills Mr. Piggy though. And Shadowhunter is almost level 3. I'm not sure how much XP a hog gives. Let's find out. 452. Uh, to 490. That means. Uh, what is uh, 90 minus 52? 38 times 2. Right? Wait, is that correct? 38 and 52. 40. No, 69. Yeah. So no this uh, 38 times 2 is 76. Okay, it gives 76 XP. Level 3 birdie. We have an expansion here for Moon as well. So he wants expansion at every expansion spot on this map. This one, he wants this one over here. He wants this one over here. And he, remember, he already has this one. So he wants to have like the, the triangle, not the triangle, the cube. The cube of expansion and Twisted Meadows. Get the class of Texas 9. Um, let's see. We do have. Uh, he does need his Beastmaster though. These heroes on top of the Raiders will beat his Huntresses without his Beastmaster. Okay, he's going to the main base. He's going to use Stampede. His Huntresses. Okay, he's going to fight with the Huntresses. Okay. See if he can make some trades. Even if he loses this fight, though, Moon can still win the game because uh, well, we all know why. He has the piggies, he has the birdies, he has the expansions, he has the everything. There it is. GG. Moon wins this game. So it's 1-0 for Moon. Uh, Echo Alls. Great. We have a barracks. We have a altar. What do we have here on this side? We have an altar. We have a, a ancient of war. Let's see what we see. I assume we're gonna see a demon hunter this game. Just a standard, normal, nothing special demon hunter. And on the other side, we're gonna see a blade master, which is gonna be amazing. Amazing blade master versus a normal demon hunter. There it is. There's a normal demon hunter here for uh, Moon. And here's an amazing blade master here for Fast. So far, everything is going as I predicted. Warden, please. Maybe, maybe some other day, Hiromi fan. Maybe some day when it's, when it's raining. Warden is good on a, on a raining day. Actually, it's raining in game on this island. The food launch is going up here. What about this base? Let's talk about this base. This side is closed off. Closed off. This side is open, right? This is open. I believe this is. Uh, or is this closed? Actually, I think it's closed. I think it's close enough together that it's closed. That means this side is closed. The only opening is over here. Pretty good. Moon played Warden yesterday in NSL on the same map. Yeah, but not against Orc, right? Different matchup, yeah. Against Human. Against Human or against that, you can play Warden. Uh, against Orc. I haven't seen it in years. In years. I guess Night Elf, same story. I've never seen a warden against Night Elf. Demon Hunter gets a parry up and he kills these little kobolds. He's level 2 now. Meanwhile, the Blade Master has a ring of protection. What a shitty item. That's such a shitty item. The parry up is uh, also not the greatest, not the best, not that amazing, but at least it's better than a ring of protection, uh, relatively. Of course, it's a different level item. It's a different, different item. This ogre, let's see what he gets over here. Maybe close of haste, okay, okay, that's, uh, that's all right, that's all right. Here comes the grunt, he sees the archer. 
And the Blade Master is hungry. No, the Blade Master, what's his item? He's killing his ogre. Did he buy something? Didn't buy any items. He didn't buy. Oh, there was no item available. What? He buy his uh, boots? He didn't buy boots. He bought the boots. <laughs> he bought boots here. Uh, instead of what the shop. Or instead of not buying them at all. He sells a great amount of potion. Uh, and and this wisp. What is this wisp doing here? He finds just a wisp in a net and he's like, oh. What are you doing? Okay, I'll kill you. And then he get detonated in the face. So it was actually just a trap set up by Moon to detonate in the face. The Blade Master still has no Blade Master items, but he does have boots. Normally Orc doesn't buy boots in this matchup because it's not worth it, but maybe this this game. Because Fast bought it. Uh, the Demon Hunter buys the staff. We have an uh, Archer and a Berserker here in the main. The Archer is Clear hiding in the entrance. We have an Ancient of War uh, against a Blade Master and three creeps. But the Demon Hunter is here, saving the Ancient of War. The Demon Hunter plus the Ancient of War can handle with handle the Blade Master. But then there's still the creeps. Is he gonna try to creep this? The Blade Master is out of mana, but he does have boost of speed. The Demon Hunter uh, doesn't like Mr. Blade Master. Blade Master doesn't have dust though, so the Archer can just hide. But the Force Soul Berserker, he cannot hide. He should have given him a Cloak of Shadows. Ace of War running for his life, his tree life. I mean, it's it's a life, I guess. Blade Master going for the Berserker now. The Wisp running away from the tree. The Grunt's going for the Moonwall. We have four Moonwalls up, but uh, sure. Fast buys boots, makes sense. Oh, yeah, of course, because uh, that way he moves fast. Is he going for this Angel War again? Nah, he cannot get it. It's uh, it's protected by the trees. He could just eat another tree, walk through the trees, and then Players he's very safe. Beastmaster, attack. by the way, is going to fast base. Meanwhile, we have the Blade Master over here. The uh, building's Angel of Wind can be cancelled, maybe. Demons are defending. Here's the Beastmaster with a piggy. Maybe he will summon another piggy. Uh, I'm not sure if he can cancel something, though. He's, it seems like he's slightly too late. Um, we have a peon blocking the Beastmaster here, so he cannot go for the Ancient of uh, Spirit Lodge. And he, oh, the Demon Hunter does have the staff though, I forgot about that. So maybe he can go for the Spirit Lodge. He does not have uh, anything to get out of here besides DP though, so let's see if we can get it. I doubt it, it's half health, it's uh, under half health, it's at uh, 272 health. But it does stay up. And the peons are repairing here as, as fast as they can. The, the blade master healing his uh, healing his grunt. Got a circlet, pretty good item. Uh, TC is surrounded by a demon hunter and a piggy, and two piggies, and he's going to die. TC just dies while I was looking at the blade master. TC got surrounded, and he's dead. That's a dead TC. That's a lot of XP for Mr. Demon Hunter. A player's force is our blade master continues creeping over here. Almost level 3. Demon Hunter is also almost level 3. What is this? Piggy. Trying to kill the auto of storms before the TC comes out. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't do enough damage. He realizes that, Mr. Piggy he realizes that. Stat goes on a scouting mission. He won't find Fast. Fast is over here, keeping in the center. Uh, got Sensi Wars. What a beautiful and Magnificent item here for fast. A player's forces are under attack. A player's forces are under attack. Those are the Murlocs, in fact, that are attacking Moon. And Moon's forces are under attack by the Murlocs, or it's actually the other way around. The Murlocs are being under attack by Moon. He picks up a nice ring of protection. What shitty items on this map this game, man. Lots of rings of protection, parry ups, other shitty items, manuals of health. These heroes are just never going to die. Because neither player gets any DPS uh, buffs on their heroes. They just get extra hit points. Imagine that they get so many items to prolong the health of their, of their heroes. That we, uh, they can, they, we don't have enough DPS anymore at the other side to kill the heroes. I want to see a game like that. Where they just fight forever, doing, dealing zero damage. There's a 50 mana mana burn. And uh, city worth, yeah, that's nice. They mastered level three and a half. Demon Hunter is almost level three, but the TC is only barely level two, while the Peace Master is actually still level one. So 
Fast. Did he get a tome of XP or what? How come he's suddenly so far ahead in XP? I don't know. He's creeping over here with the TC. That's a ring of protection again. So many rings of protection in this game. There's an expansion for fast and the blade mass now creeping over here. Don't like that expansion at all. At all. We will get master here pretty soon. Then we'll get a tinker and then we'll get an attack move into the uh, expansion and it's going to be cancelled. Gives the uh, the orb to the demon hunter. Does have an info potion. He has a TP on the beast master. But here comes fast. He walks around. Does he have an pillage? Does not have pillage. He goes for the shop, but the orb has already been bought. Which is the most important item. The staff as well. This grunt goes down. A grunt for a shop. Demon hunter is level 3 now. That means he has level 2 mana burn. Well, TC is still just level 2. I mean, the hero levels are, I want to say, in Moon's favor. Even though we have more XP for fast. Level 3 and level 2 against level 3 and level 2 is definitely much better for Moon. He buys another healing uh, uh, scroll. Scroll of healing. Oh, he doesn't have an info potion and a scroll of healing on, the, on Jubei. Are you kidding me? Is it because Moon bought something? Oh yeah, Moon was able to buy a healing scroll and an info potion. That's so great by Moon. Managed to sneak those out. out. These two items belong to Fast. Then Fast maybe would have a chance, but without this, Fast is 10 supply up though. And he has a Berserker. And maybe he has, uh, if he has some good micro, and if uh, Moon has some bad micro, he has a chance here. But that's not gonna happen. I think this expansion is gonna be cancelled. And uh, Fast is going to lose his fight. The second mana burn, by the way, on the TC. He didn't pass a single shockwave. And he's out of mana already. The Grunts take so much damage. The Demon has to use the Potion. Two Grunts down there. Of course, they take uh, double damage from the Truth of Talon. The three Raiders in the back. The Pocket Factory, by the way, was beautifully placed here in the back. And the Peon is trying to kill it, though, now. And now the Spirit Walkers as well uh, just kill the Factory. That Druid of the Talon went down. But this radio are pretty low on hit points as well. The demon hunter is coming back. He got stopped home apparently to heal back up. Buy some healing potions. Uh, maybe, yeah, drop some items. Uses one. So he's back to full health. Blade Mask, by the way, he does have level 2 critical strike in this matchup. Didn't get it against Chimiko. 11 mana, mana burn. I'm not a big fan of 11, but uh, I'm a big fan of mana burn. TC. Almost level 3. He's going for the Demon Hunter. Can he get it somehow? No. He has no DPS. Blade Master is being cycloned. He doesn't have an info potion on the Blade Master. And we still have that healing potion on the Demon Hunter. Gives him the TP instead. And Moon TP's out. Actually, he's 14 supply behind. How come Moon is so far behind? It's not like uh, he lost his fight, right? He lost 3 Druids of the Talon. When he killed 2 Grunts and a Raider. And now he used the TP as well. Was he maybe a bit overzealous buying all those healing scrolls and info potions? Moon is back to 48 supply, fast at 58. It's still uh, decent for Moon though. But the TC is now level 3, doesn't have much mana. And we still have this healing scroll here. What are these wisps gonna do? Detonate in the face. PM did a lot of damage to the Demon Hunter. He did. But he doesn't even have any items. It's too circled. Now he's going for the Beastmaster. Beastmaster has a heal scroll. Besides that, nothing to save himself. Tries to give him the healing potion. Gives him the healing potion and uses the heal scroll as well. But the Beastmaster, he's still going to... Survive, man, die. No, there's Cyclone. And he does die. And there the Beastmaster is dead. We have to... Tinker thinks uh, beautifully placed again. Tinker Factory. Uh, there goes another Druid of Talon. These, uh, these Raiders take so much damage. Dude, where's the heal scroll for fast? He doesn't uh, have one anymore. Doesn't have a heal scroll anymore. The Tinker might fall here. But uh, the Raiders all fell as well. Only one, two Raiders left. TC very low on hit points as well. TC is going to die here. That's a dead TC. And now we're 49 against 41. We have a supply lead now for Moon. He only lost his Beastmaster pretty much. 
And now there it is, GG. Moon wins this game easy peasy. 